promotion of an app, you know, and how to get high in the app store is always a big question, you know. So, you, you know, so we, you do what we've covered so far. You build an app, uh, an app only, so you, you, op, you harmonize or optimize it into the mobile only sort of space. So, you know, remember that. And something I didn't mention, and I should have when I mentioned in the development uh, stage, is that the back end could potentially is about 80% of the code. In the case of hot hotels, what you see is maybe 10%. The really exciting stuff is what happens in the back. Do you know? So an app isn't really just what you see in terms of, uh, in terms of you know, when you put up the app. You know, the, the way the database is organized, the way the data gets in, uh, the amount of information we collect, you know, the really the, the secret, I mean, the companies who come and look at Hot App, uh, that's the thing that they really get impressed by, the whole platform. So you just have, literally, it's almost like a car door or something, like the, the door is just how to get into the car, but the engine is the really exciting thing. So always remember that in terms of the development, that it isn't just the app, but you also have the back end and you also have to put um, resources into that. But it's a huge problem where you have like winner take all kind of environment. So, you know, I've seen, you know, every country is different, but I've seen stats to say that, you know, eight apps have like 80% of the usage that, that goes on. So you basically have these guys completely dominate uh, so even though people on their phone will have like 20 or 30 apps, you know, downloaded, they'll probably only use eight. So on that basis, people have to be extremely motivated to um, A, find out about your app, and B, to, to use it. Um, these guys are the incentivized downloads. This is the bit where, you know, when you're on camera, <laughs> you have to be really, really careful. Uh, you know, has anyone had any experience of any of these names? Uh, but this is uh, something that has changed and is changing, that there used to be a time when almost the first thing you would do after you created an app would be work with one of these companies, and uh, they would have programs which you know, uh, incentivized basic, they would, they would incentivize users to download your app. So they would have, you know, access to your phone or your email or something like that. Um, Apple took exception to what some of the companies were doing uh, as well. So that sort of stopped that. Um, and then there were like acquisitions so whereby some companies bought companies almost to restrict what they were doing. Um, but it's a big issue. Uh, I see it less and less now, incentivized downloads. Uh, I see more and more people finding more organic ways to promote their app. Um, you know, these are more organic ways. Obviously, this is Cabify, who are uh, a company based in, in, in Madrid. They're very strong in Latin America. So they just have the very obvious thing, you know, which is sort of uh, publicizing on billboards. Uh, then you have the famous rate, comment, and subscribe, which is um, an extremely useful thing. I mean, I, I, not enough people do it, but it's something that can really bump you up the rankings in terms of, uh, I see particularly in things like podcasts, but also in terms of, um, you know, I don't mind saying that, uh, you know, every time there's a new version of Hot, you know, I get all of my friends, all of my family, all the people I work with to go and, you know, rate, comment, and subscribe. And that keeps us, it's a very cheap way of doing it, uh, but, you know, that can actually have a very useful uh, way of keeping you high up in the traffic. Um, and obviously, it, it doesn't cost you, like, having to work with incentivized download companies, some of whom will get you results, but how do you keep the results? In other words, they'll get you... Uh, they'll get you the download, but very quickly the person starts to delete the download or not use it or, or something like that. Here in IE, with companies in the Venture Lab, with spending money on like Facebook and Twitter 
and Google Ads, how very quickly you can run up an awful lot of money in those. Uh, you know, you're coming up against, uh, you know, you see figures like EasyJet that they spend, you know, Booking.com would probably spend over a million a day uh, on Google AdWords. You know, the really big guys, Expedia, EasyJet, those kind of people, which easily brings a return for them because they, uh, you know, that's, they have the volume to cope with that. But I think for a lot of startups, getting involved in paid marketing um, is a very dangerous business. And I've seen startups, as I say, you know, spend a lot of money very quickly uh, without having done the basics, you know, which is the stuff that's, that's cheap uh, and things like that. So, you know, all, never neglect in terms of promotion the idea of rate, comment and subscribe and getting people to, to rate your app and also just publicity and word of mouth and, and these, kind of, these kind of things.